This is 35 millimeter film, what traditional movies are shot in. This is higher resolution 70 millimeter film. And this is IMAX 70 millimeter film, what Oppenheimer was shot in. Oppenheimer is releasing in two weeks and I can't wait to go watch this film. I'm a big Killian Murphy fan and now he's the lead on a Christopher Nolan film. So the film is gonna have a 100 day theatrical window. So we'll have over three months to go watch the film, rewatch the film on the big screen. In this video, we'll be going over all the formats it'll be screening in and the one I think you should go watch for the full immersive experience. So firstly, 70 millimeter film was mainly used for documentaries. It was never really used in Hollywood for feature films. Eventually films that were shot in traditional 35 millimeter film were converted to IMAX so they can be viewed on IMAX screens but they weren't actually shot in IMAX cameras. So what they did was they upscaled and enhanced the quality of the image using a process called DMR, which is short for digital media remastering. So it's not like we haven't had films that were shot in IMAX cameras. We have, there's actually plenty of films that were shot with IMAX cameras, but the difference is that those were digital IMAX cameras rather than film IMAX cameras. Some of the cameras, and you might've heard of these, are the Ari Alexa LF, Ari Mini LF, Ari Alexa 65, Red Ranger, and the Sony Venice. So 70 millimeter IMAX film has a 1.43 to one aspect ratio, whereas digital IMAX has a 1.91 to one aspect ratio. Some locations with digital projectors can fill the entire 1.43 to one frame. Here's the twist though. There's only gonna be 30 films worldwide that'll be screening Oppenheimer in IMAX 70 millimeter film, 30 theaters worldwide. So there's three types of IMAX projectors. There's the IMAX Xenon projector, there's the IMAX with laser, and there's the one that you should try and go watch, which is the IMAX 70 millimeter film. The IMAX Xenon projector has now been discontinued, but some theaters may still carry this type. This projector can support 2K resolution at an aspect ratio of 1.9. One. The next one up is the IMAX with laser projector. This projector supports a 1.43 to 1 aspect ratio, but it depends on the location. So if your theater doesn't support it, it'll screen it at 1.91 to 1. But it's still an upgrade as it's two 4K projectors that have improved sharpness, brightness, contrast, and colors when compared to the Xenon projector. Lastly, the one you should try and watch is the true IMAX 70 millimeter film projection. Like I said, only 30 theaters worldwide will be showing the film in true IMAX. That's 30 theaters worldwide. There's a single one in New York City and I was lucky enough to secure a ticket. I'll put a link below so you can find ones near you. You might also see the term 1570. That just refers to the amount of perforations on the physical film itself. They're the little holes on the film that the camera and projector use to roll the film. Each frame has 15 perforations. It makes a big difference, but we won't get into the technical. Just know if you see it, they're referring to IMAX 70 millimeter film versus the standard 70 millimeter film, which has just five perforations per frame. And that's not to say that the other projections are bad by any means. Any IMAX screening is pretty amazing but I'd recommend it if you can. I'll have a link below in the description with all the theaters that will be supporting IMAX 70. So how many times are you gonna go watch the film during the theatrical window? Everything seems pretty promising from the cast, the technology behind it, the filmmakers. I'm probably gonna go a few times myself, but um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. If you wanna see more content on tech and digital culture in the future, please give me a follow and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.